This is your guy, S.D. Booker, with a toast to the men. Before you listen to this video, hit the subscribe button. Definitely hit the like button. Hit that like button. Let's go. Get your glasses up. Get your glasses up. A toast to the men. Sometimes you got to hit the reset button. Sometimes you got to start over. And that's okay. Just never give up. Never quit. Success is on the other side of failure. I promise you. I've had to reset and restart a few times. And that's okay. But what I can say is, you know, all those things, I, I didn't quit. You know, uh, that, that meant dear to me. I didn't quit. Now, I have quit on a few things in my life, but I got another opportunity, right? Because the test doesn't leave. It doesn't disappear. You're going to be faced with that test again. And, you know, you'll get a chance to show yourself approved. You get a chance to see how battle-tested you are, what lessons you've learned, and uh, the endurance you've built up or didn't build up. You know, through life, man, you, you're going to have challenges. And your biggest challenge is yourself. I know we like to look outside of ourselves and think everyone is against us and that we got haters. I really don't think you, you, you got, or I got as many haters as, as we like to believe. I think uh, we, ourselves, your darkness, your inner voice can be your biggest hater. That's the most loud voice out of everyone. You know, uh, Apostle Paul wrote an epistle or an affirmation. And he said, um, I have fought the good fight. I've run the good race. I have kept the faith. And it's like, wow, those words are powerful within themselves. That affirmation is very powerful. But when you put it in context and understand the situation Paul was in, you go, wow, how can he write such words, such an affirmation in the situation he was in? You know, when he wrote this, he was chained to a Roman soldier. He was in prison. And he wrote these words. These are victorious words. This is, these are words of positive affirmation. But he was in prison, and this is right before uh, he was killed, assassinated, killed. But he was able to write these words. So how can a man write these words? That he fought the good fight, he ran the good race, he kept the faith. And... He can write these words because what he's saying is they didn't break me. They didn't break me. And uh, I didn't allow my dark side, my flesh, to break me. I, I conquered, managed my dark side. I didn't let it take over me. That's a good fight. Now, to fight is to engage in conflict. I've seen, I've seen uh, confrontations, physical confrontations. I've seen where two people engage in conflict. There's an actual fight. And I've seen situations where one person is engaged and the other one's not engaged. And that person more than likely gets knocked out. They didn't throw a punch. They didn't protect themselves. They didn't want the smoke. <laughs> they didn't engage. So they left themselves vulnerable and uh, got seriously hurt. And, and you know, that's, that's just what it is. So Paul is saying, man, I engaged in the conflict. I faced it head on. I didn't run from it. Um, now he didn't even say he won 
He said he fought the good fight. And that's all we expect, right? That's what I expect when I see a, a fight uh, on television, a professional fight. Or, you know, when I used to be into watching fights on the street, uh, I'm beyond that now. But I really didn't care, unless it was my homeboy, I really didn't care who won. And even in professional boxing, I got my favorite boxers. But ultimately, I just want to see a competitive fight. That's, that's it. Uh, and that's a good fight to me when both people are engaging. And that's what Paul is saying, man, I engaged in the conflict. You know, there's a, there's a famous boxer, former boxer, a Panamanian boxer, uh, Roberto Duran. And uh, he is considered by many, if not the best, one of the top boxers of all time. But there's some words, there's two words that will forever stick with him that he can't dodge, that he's always asked about, that's tied to his legacy, tied to his name. And I know he wish he can take it back. Some words that were said and the action that was carried out in his second fight with Sugar Ray Leonard. Now, he had beat Sugar Ray Leonard the first fight. He got a rematch. Sugar Ray kind of changed up some things. Got Duran uh, frustrated with the movement. Um, some people will say Sugar Ray was running. Some people will say he was working the ring. Regardless, these two famous words, man, would forever be stuck to Roberto Duran. He was a hell of a fighter. I can't remember which, which round it was, but at some point, uh, he told the referee between breaks, he told the referee, no moss. No moss, meaning no more. He quit. He quit, man. This this brother had accomplished a lot. I actually fought beyond his weight class, fought bigger guys. Uh, hell of a boxer. But those two words, no moss, will forever be tied to his name and to his legacy. He can't dodge it. He can't avoid it. Because he gave up. He threw in the towel. He threw in the towel. Now, he doesn't know, and we don't know, how that fight would have ended. Hey man, one good shot. <laughs> one one split second of losing focus. Uh, Sugar Ray's in. I mean, things can turn. I've seen it. He didn't see it through. He gave up, threw on the towel. He was frustrated. And we've done that. Several of us have done that, thrown in the towel. And, uh, you know, that's a, that's a horrible feeling to have because it sticks with you. And maybe the world doesn't know, as they know, of uh, Roberto Duran's moment. But you know. You know. And, uh, but I believe everybody gets a second chance, another opportunity, second, third, fourth chances, another opportunity to redeem themselves. You're going to be faced with it again. It may not be pictured, right, or look like that moment you gave up, but you're going to be faced with resistance in a moment where you got to make a decision. Man, do I fold? Do I quit? Or do I keep going? I guarantee you're going to be faced with it again. The test is going to come up again. And the more you pass the test, the easier it becomes. The flip side, the more you quit, the easier that becomes also. So I've had to start over a few times. Um, it's okay. 
I've quit a few times. I've been able to redeem myself a few times and answer the bell. Uh, Paul says, I, I raced, uh, I ran the good race. Man, in races, you know, you have all types of races. You got the four by 100, you got the 800 meters, you got the half marathon, full marathon. You got the 100 yard dash, right? And all these require, require different disciplines, right? And different strengths, different types of endurance. Typically, in the Olympics or in track and field, a guy who's good in marathon is not good at the 100 yard dash. That's just the way it is. Two different types of people, two type, two different types of disciplines. But the thing is, man, you got to be disciplined and know how to run all races in this spiritual race. It's a spiritual fight. It's a spiritual race. And the race is within yourself. Outrun in the darkness. Fighting the darkness, outrunning it, conquering it. That's where the race is. That's where the fight is. Never give up, though. Never quit. Never say no moss. Keep the faith. That means don't ever be broken. Don't ever allow yourself to break yourself, your flesh to break you. Don't allow anyone else to break you. This is for the strong, man. Only the strong will survive. All right. I want you guys to look up this gentleman. James Altucher. James, first name, last name, A-L-T-U-C-H-E-R. Brother has a powerful story. Uh, he's an investor. He's a, uh, a techie, podcaster, author, public speaker, motivational speaker. Um, dude has a powerful story. Back when uh, the tech industry was booming, he created a, a dot com and uh, sold it. Eventually, sold it for fifteen million. Man, two years later. He had lost it all through bad investments, bad choices. He was down to $46. Imagine that. He sold his company for $15 million. In two years, he said he was down to $46 in his checking account. Because of bad decisions that he made on his own. He said at that point, he thought about suicide. He said, he thought, man, it, it, it'll just be easier for my kids if I wasn't here. You know, maybe I'm worth more dead than alive. He said at that moment, he got a call from a gentleman, uh, another millionaire, who extending an offer for James to start writing articles about investing, about wealth. Now here this man is and lost it all. And he gets a call about writing articles about wealth and investing. Whereas he has made bad investments and has squandered his wealth. And if he had given up, if he had followed through with the suicide, I would be telling you a different story or would I be telling you a story about him at all? Now he's back up, back up to millions on top of millions. But it's something, and I want you guys to look him up, but it's something he said that stuck with me. And he said, during that period, he discovered to never allow 
his net worth to define his self-worth. And that's where it is. Man, your foundation got to be rooted in, in solid, solid ground. You got to be rooted with some, some sound principles. And your foundation is your mind, spirit, and heart. You can't allow your net worth to define your self-worth. Listen, you make the money, don't let the money make you. It's all about character. What kind of character do you have? What kind of fight do you have? What kind of integrity, integrity, integrity do you have? That's what it's all about. Because if you lose it all, can you withstand it? Can you fight back? That's what it's all about. Fighting back, not giving up, keeping the faith. That's what I got for you today, folks. Check that man out. Also, don't forget to go get that book, A Toast to the Man, if you hadn't copped it. It's doing well. I'm proud of it. Thank you to all the supporters, everyone that uh, encouraged me and supported me through words or through energy or through money. And money is energy, too. But I want to thank y'all. It's doing quite well. And... Uh, has brought on many opportunities. So I'm grateful and thankful. All right. As always, from me to you, love, peace.